This is the video tutorial for publishing an iWeb09 site to the Mac Highway servers. So once you have your site built, what you're going to want to do is go up to the upper left hand corner of iWeb and click on the site icon. And that's going to bring up your site publishing settings page here. Now publish to field, you want to select that first and make sure it's set to FTP server. And that's going to change some of the settings on the page and that's what we want. Next thing here is the site name, and you can use anything you want for the site name. This is going to be the folder that iWeb uses when it uploads your site to the server. I'm just going to leave it at the default site. In the next field we have the contact email, and this could be, again, any, anything that you want here, an email address. As long as the email address exists, uh, just go ahead and put that into that field there. It doesn't have to be at your domain name. It can be basically any email address that you have. Next section here, we have the FTP server settings. And for this information, we're going to want to go and grab our new account information email that you're sent when you're first signed up on the system. That's where you're going to get these settings. So here it is here. The Mac Highway new account information is the subject line. I'm going to go ahead and open that up. It's the one with all the color-coded boxes here. And under the orange box, you're going to see the FTP file upload information. And that's where we're going to grab all this info from. The first one here is the host server. So I'm going to copy this out. And this is going to be something.machighway.com. It's going to be uh, specific to the server that you're set up on. Go back into iWeb. I want to paste that into the server address field. Next thing is the username. Again, go back to your email, and you're going to find the FTP username right there. You want to copy that from this email as well. And when you are copying and pasting these fields, you want to make sure that you don't have any spaces either before or after the information, or else you're going to run into errors later on. Uh, so just make sure of that when you're copying these out. Uh, here's the password that we found right here. Uh, so you can copy that one, or go ahead and just type it in into the password field and the next is the directory path field that is also listed back in the email it's going to say your domain resides in the folder public underscore HTML so I'm going to grab that info there go back to iWeb paste that in protocol FTP that's correct you just want to leave that alone and for the website URL you're going to go ahead and type in your full URL Right, and once you have that typed in, we're going to go back up to the server settings, FTP server settings section, and hit test connection. And that's going to go ahead and test the connection up here. And if it went through successfully, you're going to get testing succeeded. You press OK. Now we're going to drop down to the lower left of iWeb and hit the publish site icon. And the next pop up you're going to get is about content rights. Just make sure everything that you have on the site is uh, owned by you. And I'm going to hit continue. And that will publish your site to the servers. So once that's done, you can go ahead and uh, take a look at your site and everything should be up there. And if it is, then you've successfully published your iWeb09 site to the Mac Highway service.